Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Alonso and this is my second video for the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a skeleton boss that can block attacks. Uh, if you see more classes than the video before in the project, it's because I'm, well, I'm recording this video again because I realized it was a bit longer than usual, so I decided to record it again. And if you see, for example, that there are more classes than the next video for the next week, uh, it's because of that I'm recording this video again after I recorded the third video. So uh, in this video, as I said, you're going to learn how to create or how to spawn a custom skeleton zombie. For that, we're going to start as we usually do. Event Hunter, uh, so we can use events. And I'm going to spawn the skeleton using the break block event or the block break event, sorry. Public void on break block. Uh, block break event block break event e and i'm gonna create or spawn the skeleton if i break for example a sponge e get block get type is equal material uh, sponge we're going to uh, we can cancel the event we can set the type to air, so the block disappear. Material here, and here we spawn the sum, the the skeleton. Okay, so we can start importing a skeleton entity. We're gonna call it a uh, skeleton. It's equal. We're going to get the word block word. We are going to spawn an entity. Location will be the location of the block, and as I said before, uh, when you when we use get location to get the location of a block, the location is, is usually uh, the corner. So we need to add 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 here, so it can spawn in the middle of the block. Now we're going to spawn a uh, skeleton class. We can, for example, use a uh, we can use, for example, here, a spawn entity and use a, and use here entity type, or we can use a spawn and use the entity class. Okay, so I don't need to cast this because I know it's a skeleton. So we're going to spawn a skeleton with, for example, a custom name. It's going to be uh, maybe skeleton boss. Skeleton boss. Let's make the custom name visible. True. Let's spawn the skeleton with, um, I don't know, maybe uh, a diamond sword in the hand. New item stack, material, a diamond sword. A skeleton, get equipment. Let's also spawn the Skeleton with, for example, no, wait, set, yeah, here, set helmet with, for example, um, maybe a custom set, no, maybe a, a diamond set. So, let's go here, material that diamond helmet, and let's copy this and just change this here. Set chest plate, set legends set boots of course we change here diamond boots diamond legends and diamond chest plate so what else can we do here uh, oh we need the metadata as I said in the video before we can use metadata to maybe to recognize easy in an easy way uh, in skeleton I mean uh, an entity we spawned for our plugin. For example, some pet plugin uses maybe the name of the, the of the 
employee to recognize it. In this case, we're going to use the metadata uh, king skeleton or skeleton king. Skeleton king. New fix metadata value. Plug in. And as I said before, I usually use uh, the same here, just in lower case. Skeleton king. Great. So we already have this one. When we break a block, when we break a sponge, the event will be canceled. Uh, the block will be set to error, so it will disappear. And the skeleton, our skeleton, will be spawned. Now, uh, I want to make the skeleton to block attacks. How are we going to do this? Again, we have been under, and we're going to listen to uh, entity damage by entity event. Okay, One second damage entity damage by entity event. So the first, the first thing we're going to check is keep in mind that this get entity is the entity that had that has been attacked, and the damager is the entity that attacked. Okay, so we're going to check if the entity, uh, yeah, if the entity, uh, we can check the type or we can check instance of, in this case, I'm going to use instance of, if the entity is an skeleton. And the damager is a player. Let's import player. So if the entity damaged is a skeleton and the attacker is a player, I'm going to check if the entity has our custom metadata, which is skeleton king. If so, we're going to make that we're going to make that skeleton block an attack. Uh, for example, we can use a random number. Mm, three block number. Here we go. Current next int from zero to ten, for example. So this is a random number, okay? If we, for example, use this one here, int random, a random number will be chosen from zero to 9, not 10, to 9. It will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Because we have the first number, the second number, third, fourth, and we have the, the number, number the number 10. I mean, okay, I don't know how to say that. But you get idea, I think. Let's remove this one here. So. We can say, for example, that if the random number is lower than, I don't know, maybe a uh, random number is lower than 5, so it can be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, I have 5 chances to block the attack, the skeleton will block attack. How are we going to make the skeleton block attack? Let's just cancel the event, true. And let's, for example, mm, I don't know, maybe play a sound for the player. Because I know the player, the damager is a player. I can cast the player now. Player, damager. I just, let's just say player. It's equal. E that get damager. And let's cast this one into player. So we have the player now. And we can now play sound for, we can now play a sound for the player. Play sound. It's gonna get the player location. Let's get the sound. I'm using 1.8, so I'm just gonna use value up. Uh, maybe and be one. And it's gonna send this over here. And for example, I'm going to send also a mess for the player, so he knows that that was blocked. Uh, send message uh, for example block attack okay uh, see. 
you know or your attack was blocked your attack was blocked okay so uh we can also make that because since it's uh in skeleton skin it's a boss we can also make the skeleton attack in a different way we can for example say if in this case if the damager is a skeleton see skeleton and the entity damaged is a player and if the damager has the metadata uh, skeleton king we're gonna make for example that our player is punched into the air okay so we can say for example again this one here because we wanted to have a chance of being punched not every time and if random in this case if, if this new random number is I don't know maybe lower than then five again uh, we're going to set to cancel the the vent so the player doesn't receive damage and again we are going to cast the entity this time and we're going to set the uh, velocity of the player so he can be he can be punched into the air so player set velocity new vector and let's just say zero here uh, maybe two here and zero here again and we're going to send a message again to the player with a message that says for example mm, you were punched okay something like that doesn't matter actually you were punched into the air okay so uh, what else can we do here we can actually do whatever we want we can actually uh, do many things here maybe uh, when the skeleton hit a player he can spawn more entities he can spawn zombie maybe he can uh, send I don't know maybe add the potion effects blindness uh, slowness I don't know you can do whatever you want here actually uh, let's add, yeah, let's add some potion here, for example, so you can see. Sorry for the sound in the background. New potion effect. And, sorry. And potion effect type, absorption, not blindness. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I remember what is. Oh, duration. Uh, let's just use three seconds, which is uh, 60 ticks and the amplifier will be just two and that's it. Okay, so when a skeleton boss attack me or attack a player, I will be punched into the air. I will receive uh, blindness for three seconds and I will receive a message also that says you were punched into the air so let's compile this here i already just registered the event so it doesn't matter okay so now let's copy this here uh-huh let's put this here and let's start the server i'm not reloading the server because i'm using protocol library and i cannot restart the server so yep it's started already. We can now join the server. And and for example, I'm in whoa. Okay, um let's go here and let's I have a sponge here, a sponge here. Okay, I think I I have armor here. Yeah, I have armor. So I'm gonna change to survival mode and I'm gonna break a sponge, okay? I'm gonna eat an archer, just in case. And here we have our skeleton boss. It has the tag, it has the armor, and the sword on the hand. And if I attack him, for example, 
there was a chance, remember, that uh, the skeleton don't blow the attack. So if I keep attacking the skeleton, one attack pass was black, as you can see. Whoop, and he hit me also. I received a lot of damage. Whoa. Yeah, so as you can see, it's working fine. When the skeleton attacked me, there is a probability or a chance that uh, the skeleton punched me into the air or that uh, the attack, I mean, the normal attack, you know? Whoop. Yeah, as you can see. Just give me a second. Yeah, so it there's a chance. And that's it. I hope you really guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as I said, just leave me a suggestion in the the comment section so I will be reading all of this comment and I think about uh, maybe trying to to uh, maybe I don't know maybe to use your ideas for new videos in the next video I'm gonna be using protocol library I saw many people had troubles or had problems with it so I decided to learn about it and to make a video and as I said uh, this the next video product library was recorded before I I record this video so yeah you know so thank you so much guys I hope you really guys enjoyed the video and if you like please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and that's it thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video bye bye